Hey everyone, what's going on? Uh, been a minute since um, our last video. Um, I was gonna vlog, but uh, going with a couple friends who um, weren't really into wrestling, and I wasn't sure exactly what this was uh, gonna hold, I guess. Um, we, or I, literally just got back to the apartment. Um, we just got back into Grand Rapids. We went to um, Toronto, Mississauga, shout out to Griff. Uh, wish I could have caught up with you, man, um, but hopefully next time. Um, Michigan is a short drive away, though, so hopefully uh, if I don't make it back there, you can make it over the border sometime. So um, anyways, we went to Mississauga for the uh, sports card expo. Um, no, it wasn't for my work. Um, I got a couple days off. Um, my buddy Ryan, he's a big hockey guy, um, and he invited me and another guy named Ryan to uh, go along with him. So I did. Um, I'll get to the reason why I was not going to turn down the trip um, here in a couple minutes. But first off, um, I want to show you guys what I got. Um, I did win a raffle with Upper Deck. They drew my raffle ticket so I won this hat and I also won this Chris Chelios uh, 8x10 autograph photo it is just a photo on an oversized uh, chronology card wish it was a Red Wings uniform but it is Chris Chelios nonetheless um, upper deck cert back there so that was cool um, first time going to the expo and I did get uh, a free giveaway so that was pretty cool um, I threw away the blasters but uh, for those of you that know women's division every year um, is just a fantastic product um, I, I ripped way too much 2019 was it 2019 yeah 2019 women's division uh, this year um, at the expo there wasn't a lot of wax that I wanted to really dive into being a lot of hockey um, but on the site it actually says that it's a pretty decent wrestling show. Um, so I was able to find some women's division blasters, um, and I picked up five. And honestly, the only reason why I picked up the last two was because I had uh, $20 Canadian still to blow, and we weren't going to stop for dinner or anything, so I wanted to use that while I was in Canada. Um, but yeah, so I started off with three blasters last night at the hotel. And the first blaster was this Nikki Bella purple matte relic, numbered 79 of 99, if you guys can see that. Um, it also had a parallel, um, and this parallel I was really happy with, um, as it is a Ruby Riot. It is a gold that I did not have, so that was very cool to pull. It is the Ruby Riot makes her NXT debut. Um, and it's gonna be difficult to see. It's right there above my finger, numbered four of 10. So that was very cool. Didn't have that one, got to cross it off my list. Uh, the next one had a Rousey rookie. I know they're like a buck, but still Rousey rookie. Um, and a Mickey James base auto. So that was cool. Um, and then the last one also had a parallel. It was numbered 14 of 50, Power Couples, Stephanie McMahon and Kurt Angle. And I, it was a relic. I was like, okay, whatever, one for three on the relic or the autos. Um, but I get to the pack, I open it up, and it's a Sarah Logan Matt Relic Auto numbered 10 of 10. So I was going to stop there, but like I said, I, I had a couple, or I had a $20 Canadian to blow. Couldn't find any singles that were that, that cheap and that I really wanted. Um, there was some nice stuff. Again, probably 90% of it hockey, though, and I just... I don't collect hockey like I used to, and I never really did, to be honest. But uh, yeah, I picked up two more blasters with that $20. Um, no parallels, um, but I did hit 
a Naomi green to 150 and a base Lana. So again, I should have stopped while I was ahead, but when you got money to blow, you blow it, right? Um, so yeah, then being that there was some wrestling there, uh, there was a booth that had all cards, uh, mostly undisputed from this year. Um, nothing Ruby that I needed. Uh, he had a um, shirt relic auto of just the base one, which I have like four of. Um, but he was kind of cool to, to talk to. Um, got to talk to him about NXT, Survivor Series, a little bit on AEW, but uh, I could tell he was mostly a WWE guy. Um, which, to be honest, I haven't watched a lot of AEW, but um, I would have BS'd with him about it. But uh, yeah, so that was cool. And then I did find another table who had hockey and wrestling. Um, no cards, though, but he had a bunch of figures. And I stumbled across um, one that I have not seen um, since it's released. I don't know if they were ever going to come to stores. Um, but when I saw it, I had to ask on it and I literally had to have him set it under the table so I could go to the ATM, pull out Canadian funds. Hence the reason why I had $20 extra to spend on those blasters. Um, but yeah, I, I had to get this. He told me the price. Um, it is the Undisputed Era triple figure box set um this was only 60 canadian um i just i couldn't pass that up they are extremely hard to find they sell really well on ebay um and when i saw that i decided to pick up the second one i didn't ask him to cut me a deal because i was already getting a really good deal because that 120 dollars canadian um and I'm sure Griff is going to chime in, possibly, but roughly $95, $99. Um, so for like 45 a little over 45 a box set, I figured that was a pretty good deal. Um, especially if you look up to see what they go for on eBay. Um, and to end up, end the card show pickups, um, the main reason why I went is I didn't get to meet her in uh, NOLA for WrestleMania 34. Um, WrestleCon um, being my first time just kind of was overwhelming. Um, I know Joe uh, met Big Papa Pump, Scott Steiner, but between her line and Ric Flair's line kind of merging together, I just, I wasn't about it. Um, I knew there was gonna be a time down the road where she was gonna be closer and I could just meet her then. Um, and if you don't know by now who I'm talking about, it is Trish Stratus. Um, I already, I had a frame, a um, little cheap frame, but matches the ones that I've got in my room. Um, signed nicely in pink there. Um, Use my Molotow. She absolutely loved that. She said she wishes uh, she would have had that for those 600 Funkos that she signed. Um, if you follow her on Instagram, you know that she put all those on her site and and sold uh, autographed ones. But yeah, I, I had to go and meet her. Um, it was definitely amazing. I do kind of wish now that I would have done the um, combo for the photo op, but she'll be around. Um, she she tends to do a lot of signings and, and whatnot. So uh, yeah, definitely happy with that. Um, now kind of going to the next part of the video. Um, a guy on Facebook was getting rid of his Ruby Riot collection um, and he actually had quite a few that I did not have. Um, and this was the second, I'm gonna start off with the second part of the deal here. Um, I don't really collect these anymore because they just go for too much and I don't really like spending that much money on these cards, and you'll see why. Um, first off, it is the Topps Vault blank back one of one. There's the cert there. He did forget to send the COAs. He's going to be nice enough and send them a plain white envelope. Um, 
I don't mind though. They they have the number there. I can look it up on Topps website, I'm sure. Um, but that one's from Topps Raw. So I'm missing a couple plates in the one of one from that. I really want to get the one of one because it is black instead of red. Um, next one here is from 19 Undisputed. It is the Topps Vault. Um, the only reason why I grabbed these is because he sold them pretty cheap. Um, not that I know what he had into them, but um, from my standpoint, I was like, yeah, I I wouldn't have paid more than what he asked on them. So. The last one being another Topps Vault um, women's division, blank back one of one. So that was kind of the second half of the deal. Um, and I was really glad to get those because I do have a few more. Um, sticking with, not really sticking with anything, but uh, the only non-auto one of one that I got was this 2017 Then Now Forever printing plate. This is the black version. Um, I don't have any of these, so that was very cool. Um, I'm gonna go stick along with the non-autoed stuff. From 19 Women's Division, the TLC Matte Relic. This is the black version, numbered one of five. A lot of this stuff is pretty short printed. Um, I just didn't have, so. Um, that's the reason why I bought most of his Ruby Riot collection from him. Um, this one, I've never seen before. This was from the, uh, I believe, SummerSlam set, uh, Walmart exclusive. This is the Women's Evolution relic card. Nice multicolor piece there. It is gold, numbered to 10, uh, right there. So that is a nice one. I believe there's a base auto and, or base relic and autographs from that SummerSlam women's division or women's evolution set. Um, but I just, nobody ripped a lot of the retail stuff so I haven't been able to find it. Um, I don't know how he did, didn't ask, didn't care. Um, moving along here, sticking with the gold theme is a Ruby Riot women's division from 17. Um, this is also number 10, number 2 of 10. Didn't have that, so that was another nice add. Um, sticking along with women's division here. These are from 19 women's division. I picked up the orange out of 50 auto. 46 of 50. And then the blue numbered to 25. So that one's cool there. Definitely like the blues here um, from this set. And the last card and last thing I wanna show you guys for this uh, mail day pickups video um, is another one of one, also coming from the SummerSlam set. It is the printing plate um, cyan on card Ruby Riot autograph. There's the back, one of one there blue cyan plate so yeah that's my pickups that's my mail day from facebook um i hope you guys enjoyed this it's been a while it was a lot of fun this weekend super glad i got to meet trish definitely happy with the pickups lately um not sure what i'll be ripping next um i know money in the bank set came out i know there's coupons from tops that were good at target maybe maybe walmart maybe both i can't remember but uh there's no rubies in the set um she hasn't really been on a money in the bank card yet so i don't think i'll be ripping any um i was looking at boxes at the expo um, but they wanted 160 canadian which was just way too much um but yeah, so that'll do it for this video. Like I said, hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you in the next one.